Hello, I am Dr. Rohini Patel. I am 18 years breast cancer survivor and a certified lymphedema therapist. Hello, I am Keka Roy. I am a breast cancer survivor too. Today, we are going to demonstrate the decongestive exercises of upper extremities. Before we start this decongestive exercise session, few important things to be remembered. If you have any medical disorder, please consult your doctor. Certified lymphedema therapist should also be consulted who would be able to modify these exercises according to your requirements. Secondly, these exercises should be done slow and in a controlled manner. These exercises, if done fast, the desired benefit of the exercises will not be achieved. If suppose you have any pain or you feel tired or exhausted while doing the exercises, please stop at that very moment. Initially, one will not be able to achieve the full range of movement, but slowly, progressively, the full range of movement will be achieved. These exercises help in muscular movements, which in turn facilitate the lymphatic flow back to the mainstream. Now, let's start with the exercises. Let's begin the decongestive exercise session. Every session should begin with deep abdominal breathing by placing the hands on the abdomen, inhale, and then exhale. When you inhale, the abdomen comes out, and when you exhale, it comes back to the neutral. Here, we are repeating it three times, but to beginners, they should repeat it five times and eventually ten times. This exercise should always be done when you start the session. Deep abdominal breathing. Second, the neck movements. One should concentrate not on moving the head, but moving the chin to the left and to the right. The movement should be slow and control. We would be doing it three times but one should be doing it five times and aiming to make it ten times per session. Now would be the neck movement side to side. Slow and control movements. We are repeating it two or three times. Beginners should be doing it five times and aim should be of doing it ten times per session. with no neck movement, with no shoulder movement with the neck. Now the third exercise, shoulder shrugs. The first is upward movement. Slow and control movements. It should be only shoulder movements, not the elbows, which are dominant. The second movement will be neutral and down. Down and back to the neutral. No shrugs, only down to the neutral. The third would be retraction. The retraction of the shoulders. Elbows being in position and only shoulders which are being retracted. These movements are to be done initially five times and the aim is to be done ten times. 
The fourth is straight arm raise. Slowly raise the arm. If your affected arm is not able to go up, the other normal arm should be matching with the range of movement of the arm which is not able to go up. Clinch your fist when you come down. Slowly go up. And clinch your fist again. This clinching activates your forearm muscles. To begin with, repeat it five times. And again, aim is to do it ten times per session. Now, the fifth exercise that is biceps curl. Slowly curl your arm, clinch your fist, then come down slowly and clinch your fist. Again up. This should be slow and control movements. To begin with 5 and then 10 per session. Sixth is triceps. Take your hand straight up slowly. Control movement. Now support it with the other hand. And then you have to bring it down. Clench the fist. And again go up. This has to be repeated to begin with 5 times. Eventually 10 per session. Repeat the same thing. Now the seventh exercise, side arm raise. Slowly raise the arm. Go up, clench your fist and slowly come down. If you have pain, discomfort, please stop at that range of movement only. Clench your fist again when you come down. This has to be repeated 5 to begin with 10 times per session. Exercise wall press. Place your palm on the wall at the shoulder distance and bring your chest near the wall. Now move away from the wall. Clench your fist and repeat the movement again. Same principle to be followed for the beginners, 5 repetitions and the aim should be 10 repetitions per session.